had a very interesting reply from the European Commission to a written question that I sent them regarding zero rated food for working dogs. When the UK joined the EU, at that time they were zero rating food for working dogs whom the UK government had classified as uh, dogs that herd cattle or sheep, gun dogs, dogs that require high protein diets. However, uh, the Commission have said in their reply to me that they cannot extend that zero rating to other working dogs which I think uh, should include, for instance, guide dogs for the blind, uh, assistance dogs which provide a, a f fantastic service for uh, blind people and indeed uh, other assistance dogs who help deaf people and uh, search and rescue dogs. All of these dogs uh, require uh, a high protein diet or require a diet that VAT is chargeable on at the full amount just now, which is 20% in the UK. Now, if you take the case of uh, guide dogs for the blind, in the year 2010, they uh, fed, they paid for the feed for 8,000 dogs. Now, that cost them £360,000 in VAT alone. And this money is coming from charitable donations. Now, just imagine if they didn't have to pay VAT, that money could then be used for training additional guide dogs to provide extra services for the blind. Now, Canine Partners, uh, Guide Dogs for the Blind Scotland, uh, Guide Dogs UK, all are in the same boat. And the Commission have said to me, they cannot now uh, provide any other member state with any uh, zero rating on any product or on any issue whatsoever. However, they have said in this rather interesting reply to me that they can uh, leave it up to the member states to uh, reduce VAT down to 5%. Now, while a zero rating would be better, 5% would be a huge saving, and this would be of significant benefit to canine partners, guide dogs for the blind, uh, and guide dogs across the whole of the UK. So I have now uh, taken this up with the British Parliament, and I hope uh, we will see some progress on this.